welcome everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at another ship in the lineup review. It is going to be Ender today. And Ender has got this ship for me. I think it's called the IF Scar. It is. So if you'd like to tell us a little bit about it. Um, if you guys have heard of the Cold Gravitizer, which was made a long time ago, I decided to build a ship that was kind of the opposite of that. Uh, where the Gravitizer is separate, like it has separate entities made yeah. of the ship. And it's light, light colors, light it's theme. I went with the opposite. So dark colors, lava theme, um, and also smaller because I didn't have time to build a very large ship. Well, mate, let me let me just break this much down for you. Cold gravitizer, ER it out. This is absolutely better. Definitely, it looks way more cohesive just right off the bat. This actually looks like a ship that's supposed to be flying around instead it, of an amount of parts. To be honest, it looks like um, advanced attack, like alien race. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm thinking like ancient science type deal. I also, um, uh, for especially for the, the three front pieces and uh, the general theme of it, uh, like gray fading into black. I went with the Forerunners from Halo. Their general like design scheme for yeah, that's where uh, it's the yeah. It seems to work pretty okay. Yeah. Well done on having an interior to the uh, pods there. That is something else. What's that? The uh, actual ring that goes around this actually has a hallway inside of it, which is pretty sweet. Not entirely sure what function it serves, but I don't really care because it looks awesome. <laughs> Me either. I don't know why I built it. It's like, I need a hallway somewhere. <laughs> uh, so something interesting. Um, if you look on the sides, the starboard and port sides, you notice the door that leads into the sphere and the core room, etc., etc. But you also notice there's a door exactly opposite that that leads to those hallways. Funny fact, that's a gravity elevator. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So you can just gravity elevator through space to the other side of the ship, through the ship, into your hallway, walk around. It, it looks cool. I like the core room. Thank you. I found the gravity elevator. <laughs> I see you did. <laughs> I did not have time to put logic in the ship because I built it just before the logic systems came out, and I also built it just before the shield rechargers came out. No excuses! Hey, I did read the <laughs> ship already once. Like, I literally finished it, and then two minutes later, I uh, restarted StarMade to get on the server to load it up. And somebody was like, oh, there's a new patch out. They added this, this, and this. <laughs> I, like oh, the three I like the three Tetras that you use throughout the ship. In a sort of biohazard ra well, radiation symbol. Yeah. That's quite an inventive use of Tetras. And I like it. It's all over the place. It looks great. Oh, um, weapon systems, this has two long-range guided missiles that aren't anything to speak of, honestly. They don't do much damage, they just, they're for effect. But they do come out of, um, the two wingy bits on the front. There's a very specific part that looks like a missile tube. With that same Tetra thing you were talking about. Mm-hmm. Why is a missile? Well, it's everywhere, dude. It's nice. It's a good pattern. I'm, I've seen it in like five places. Cohesive. Hmm. Even though sometimes it's not quite as obvious, it is there. Unless your mind's just obsessed with radiation, I don't know. <laughs> it's one Let's of the see. two. What else did I have? I have some turret docks scattered around. I was going to add turrets, but then I realized that um, after adding the ones I was going to build, I was just like, this is just... Oh, choice the design. Do you know what? We need to teleport. We need to make FTLs required for this one. There's no FTL. I'm not on the I'm not on the server much because there is an FTL. So I'm just building my cool ships because ships are cool. Right then. So let's get started and continue. So here we are. Now we actually have a bright sector to view some of the negative space. I guess you could call it. But that would be understating it. So, 
I actually really like the concept of having to exit the ship to get to the other side of the ship with a little gravity. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Just that on, just that alone. I'm loving that. It's very that. unique. I would have to say, if I had one critique for you, um, the rear engine pods would probably do well to be uh, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah. Just, yes. uh, just to see the silhouette kind of. I know it works really well from the side and the three quarter view, but when you go directly uh, above or below, it kind of all uh, gets a bit stubby back there. Yeah, I was. Um, what was I going to do with the engines? There, it was going to be originally a much. Um, larger design, like larger engine pod design, but I got to this point in building the engine shape, and I think I decided that it just looked good enough like this. Oh, I don't know what I was going to do. I was going to um, bring the corners, all those corners, down to about the same point in the center. Oh, wow. So it was going to be like a big L shape with more curves. But I don't you know. I mean, right, it is kind of stubby, but it's, it's I don't know. It's a spaceship. I also... I know, right? <laughs> um, I also have a version of the ship that doesn't have any of the uh, the circle or the front wingy bits or the um, wonderful crystal in a cage that I have. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Just flies around with the engine and the sphere. And I like your triangles on the sphere. From each side, it makes a, a square. I didn't notice that, actually. It's actually funny because those are actually not the center of the, uh, the, the, the triangles are not actually centered per se. They're um, slightly farther forward, I believe, by one block, which I did on purpose to focus you more uh, towards the center of the, of the sphere. But I don't know. So there you have it. And what was the name of this ship again? This is the IF Scar. The IF Scar. So thanks everybody for checking this one out with us and uh, thanks Ender for bringing this one in for review. It's a truly unique design, we haven't seen one like this before and uh, I can't wait to see what the next thing you bring to us is. So, Thank you. Uh, make sure to come back and uh, show it off. So oh, well. yeah, uh, thanks everybody, we're going to go on to the next one now, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.